Kern County got a special visitor tonight. House Speaker Mike Johnson stopped by a fundraising event for Bakersfield Congressman David Valadeo. We got the chance to ask the Speaker of the House several questions, including about the tight race for California's 22nd District. Eyewitness News reporter Leslie Molina is filling in for Will Silver Silverstein tonight and tells us more about what he had to say. Leslie? Well, the race for the state's 22nd district is receiving a lot of national attention. And like you said, Rochelle, it's a pretty big deal that House Speaker Mike Johnson showed up to support Valadeo, especially since Election Day is less than a month away. The race for the 22nd district is heating up. It is described to be a bit of a swing district, meaning it is hard to predict who will win this November. Could it be Democrat Rudy Salas or Republican and incumbent David Valadeo? And Republicans want to ensure they will keep their House majority status. Despite former President Trump calling out Valadeo for voting to impeach him back in 2021. So the idea that uh, the speaker and the majority leader and my neighbor now, Vince Fong, are all here to be supportive and the large crowd that we've got here also being supportive of the campaign is something that for me is obviously very humbling. House Speaker Mike Johnson, House Majority Leader Steve Scalise, and Congressman Vince Fong all attended a fundraiser for Valadeo. We're just so excited to be here for David and, and happy that we had such a big crowd and I think we're going to win this race. But where will all this money be going to? And will it best represent the interest of voters in Kern, Tulare, and King Counties? There is a lot of money being raised and spent in California's 22nd District because it's so important to the country. But what I'm so uh, happy about and optimistic about is that I know at the end of the day, we all know by experience, it's not so much about the quantity of cash that's raised, it's about the quality of the candidate. Outside of current FEMA funding and where it's going to has been a hot button topic, especially in the wake of Hurricane Helena. FEMA has outright denied the claim that they're using disaster relief funding to house undocumented immigrants after they are released from detention. Instead stating the aid to house them comes from a separate allocation that is funded through the U.S. Customs Border Protection. Still, the speaker criticized this program during a Fox News interview. Eyewitness News asked the speaker to clarify his stance, asking him if he is suggesting removing this funding that goes to mitigate the migrant crisis. 100 percent. We've made that demand. In fact, the House Republicans passed our appropriations bill uh, several weeks ago, and in the Homeland Security appropriation, we took, we zeroed out that account. And if you would like to know about more about the House Speaker's visit, head over to our website, BakersfieldNow.com. In studio, Les Molina, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.